Ruby D. On October 27, 1922, Ruby Ann Wallace was born to parents Gladys Hightower and Marshall Edward Nathaniel Wallace. Ruby's family lived in Cleveland, Ohio until her parents divorced, moving her to Harlem, New York. While attending Hunter College High School, she began studying acting at the American Negro Theater. Ruby Ann Wallace became Ruby D. during her years with the American Negro Theater. She also submitted poetry to a black newspaper called the Amsterdam News. After high school, she attended Hunter College, where she earned her degree in Romance Languages. She took a radio training class offered by the American Theater Wing. Her training helped her earn a part in the radio serial Nora Drake. After graduation, Ruby worked as a French and Spanish translator until 1946. Her first on-screen role was in the movie Man of Mine. That same year, she earned the title role in Ant's Broadway production of Anna Lucasta. She also met her future husband, Mr. Ozzie Davis, performing in the play Jazz. In 1948, Ruby Dee and Ozzie Davis were married and the couple gave birth to three children. In 1950, Ruby Dee played the role of Jackie Robinson's wife in the Jackie Robinson story. That same year, she also appeared in the movie No Way Out. In 1957, she appeared in the movie Edge of the City. 1959 was the year that Ruby Dee starred in Lorraine Hansberry's A Raisin in the Sun, which brought her national acclaim as an actress. In both Edge of the City and The Raisin in the Sun, Ruby Dee starred opposite of Sidney Poitier. Next, she would join her husband to star in the play Pearl Victorious, which was written by Ozzie Davis. In 1963, both Ruby Dee and Ozzie Davis teamed up for the on-screen adaptation of Pearl Victorious. The two teamed up several more times in their career to produce movies and social change. In 1965, Ruby Dee became the first African-American actress to appear in major roles at the American Shakespeare Festival. She also became the first African-American actress to be featured on Peyton Place in 1968. She then starred in the critically acclaimed play, Bozeman and Lena, in 1970. In 1979, her musical satire, Take It From The Top, opened in New York City. Ruby Dee and Ozzie Davis were a force to be reckoned with within the civil rights movement. They spoke out openly against racism and Jim Crow. The projects they designed together were meant to uplift the black population. In 1974, they both produced the Ruby Dee and Ozzie Davis Story Hour on the National Black Network. In 1981, the couple produced with Ozzie and Ruby for PBS. This television series allowed Ruby Dee to connect with black authors around the country. She felt that the authors helped put the black experience into perspective. Ruby and Ozzie both supported their friend Dr. Martin Luther King on his march to Washington. Ruby denounced the government's decision to execute Julius and Ethel Rosenberg in 1953. Ruby and Ozzie were once again honored for their efforts. They received the Frederick Douglass Award for Leadership Towards Equality in 1970. In 1989, both Ozzie and Ruby starred in Do the Right Thing by Spike Lee. Ruby received an Emmy for her role in Decoration Day in 1991. In 1998, Ruby and Ozzy published their book with Ozzy and Ruby in This Life Together. The couple was married for 50 years until Ozzy Davis' transition in 2005. Later that year, the couple won a Grammy for the audio version of their book with Ozzy and Ruby. June 11, 2014 was the transition of Ruby D. This remarkable woman kicked down the doors of adversity and racism and left a trail of greatness for generations of black women to follow. Miss Ruby D, we proudly stand on your shoulders. On the Shoulders of Giants is brought to you by Live Skilled, Live Fulfilled. For more information, visit www.liveskilled.com.